All so right. I, I do have an announcement to make before we go any further into the show. Uh, it's with a heavy heart that I have to announce that myself and Andy are working for CSIS. We are actually federal agents. Yep. Uh, we took a plea deal mm -hmm. for hate speech chart. We turned all your names over, all your payment details over to the federal government. You're all going to jail. I'm sorry. You're all fucked. But we have each received a, a generous seven-figure payday from mm -hmm. the government. Yep. Uh, and you're all fucked. And we're all... So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's going on. I'm we're sorry to say that. Now. We're actually getting and a promotion yeah, yeah. next week, you know? Well, yeah. I'm going to wear the tie like, and the suit, you know? <laughs> the, say, the senior hate speech prosecutors of the Canadian government... Once all those new laws come into effect, we're going to be the ones cracking down on you motherfuckers. And, and we're picked up on oh. in, in excursion limos for dinner at like five-star restaurants. It rules being a fed. It, uh, it's, it rules we being glow. in the fed gang. Nick Fuentes, Baked Alaska, our homies. We all got rich together, bro. <laughs> make it rain, make it rain, make it holla. Oh. It's just, but uh, in all seriousness, there's been a lot of... Uh, I don't know what you want to say. Bullshit in the air about power Hullabaloo. chat, a lot of speculation, so to speak, about power chat. I just briefly wanted to explain to people what power chat is, like how it was started, why we were using it, and how it actually fucking works so people understand. So when power chat was first created, it was called Lules.tips, and it was created by an uh, alcoholic named Lules. The, that's an IP2 streamer, okay? How he managed to create well, it this... It was his buddy. It was his buddy, it was to be his fair. Buddy. So, what, <laughs> so what it was, was Tools and a roommate that was at the house, I believe. He was a programmer, a developer. He was a devout Catholic, and he was affiliated with America First. They split the company 50-50 between the developer and Lules. This is my understanding of how whole thing came together yeah now the reason we have an account in the first place is kyler who was andy's co-host on twisted mind was very uh friendly, friendly with the ip2 people he went on some ip2 rvs did some ip2 streams stuff like this so when the service was first launched which was like a year and a half ago almost two years ago now i think andy was actually one of the first people who got an account yeah. and he had been using it ever since for donations so that's why we were using it. Now, <clears throat> at the start of Kino Casino, I had a little bit of hesitation using Power Chat because I thought, well, is Baked involved in this? So I ended up speaking to an America First insider who is very credible, very accurate, who is at the yeah. highest levels of the organization. Legit, I spoke yeah. to him, and he said to me what had happened was <clears throat> the developer that... <laughs> Was, was working on this project that made it all happen on the back end, he had actually had a falling out with Baked Alaska because this insider in America First happened to show this very devout Catholic man, Baked Alaska asking a woman to show her tits, Baked Alaska macing people, Baked Alaska yelling out he loves cocaine. So this developer was disgusted with Yoba and he basically locked both him and Lules out of the project for a long time. If you remember, there was a while there where Lules was trying, people were trying to get Power Chat accounts from Lules. And Lules is like, I can't get you one because the developer is being a piece of shit. He was angry, so, yeah. So I was like, perfect. The guy's gone AWOL and is disillusioned with America First and Baked. And Lules is saying that he'll always uphold freedom of speech or whatever bullshit. So I was like, awesome. You know, this is a service where it's 0% payment fees. It's easy. It works. And Andy had been using it for a long time. So we kept using the the the, <clears throat> the service because there was there's no, no risk anymore. No risk. And, let's, and, let's explain. And also, let's I'll, explain how I'll it explain actually how works. It works. I'll explain. Yeah. Anyone who, do, who has donated knows how this works. So some people were trying to say, oh, they have your information, you input your address and your credit. No, it piggybacks off Google's payment system. So if you notice yes. when you had to go and donate through PowerChat, you aren't putting any information into PowerChat. You're signing into your a, a Google account and it does, 
it through that payment service. Therefore, PowerChat receives no information. The only thing that we as creators receive, and I've been clear about this since day one, it is my PayPal receives an email from your PayPal. So I see your PayPal email and the name, right? This has been through every processor, yeah, any but processor if, but if will you do have this. A, if you have a business PayPal account though, it doesn't have to be your exactly. real name. Exactly, or you can use a fake name average, or whatever. Or you can use, you a, fake can use name. a fake name. Which yeah. is what every single person donating to any internet personality should be doing to ensure their privacy. We've and always also, said that. And also, I want to say a real fast, I, as soon, it, I, my email, when it's done a show, it's like PayPal receipt, like, like PayPal emails, like flooded. I type in PayPal, erase everything. Even people who send hate, donations i don't check their stuff that's why beardson was able to dox that dude's name through his paypal name now this whole thing that we have your credit card information your address uh like all, all this like personal info is complete bullshit so that is how it actually works um and how elements stream labs works all these things work very similarly anyway I mean, the, the, basically what it is, is it goes to the, your information, goes to the middleman of Google Payments. None of your information ever goes to PowerChat. Ever. The only, ever. The only thing that PowerChat does is it connects with Andy's PayPal account. With your and PayPal And the money goes account. into the PayPal account. It's sort of like that's, a funnel. It's a funnel. That's how it works. You don't put that's any, how it works. So anyone who's donated, you know for a fact. And by the way, if we had like years worth of people's information and like, what? That's ridiculous. Obviously that would not be cool. And if you ever find someone's payment processor where you're entering your information into a random website, don't do that. Okay. That's, that's what you don't but do. So, but so far as baked Alaska owning a portion of it, that's not true. But I will say this. Nick Fuentes, and the reason we're not going to use it going forward is attempting, and this is what's been happening, is he's attempting to extort everybody who's using it for 25% of the profits, which is fucking insane. What he did to Lulz earlier this week was he called Lulz up and was like, well, you see a lot of the people using it are cozy streamers, so if you don't start charging them 25% to use the service and kick it to me... I'm going to have all the cozy streamers stop using the payment platform. So we're going to stop using it because, first of all, we don't want any money going to Nick Fuentes in the future. Currently, that's not the case. Yeah, but so it looks as though Nick might be trying to put a hostile takeover in place on the, on the service. We don't want him making 25%. And we just figure it's best at this point uh, to move to on disconnect. from the service. Yeah. And again, we're, we are in the works on our own alternative at this point, it's almost uh, out. because yeah, there does right. need to be some sort of alternative to this service. So yeah. that's the situation. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I want you all to know all your info is safe. Um, and yeah, the, the creator hated America first for a few months. Now they're starting to cozy, pardon the pun, back up to Nick. And to make everyone feel comfortable, we're disconnecting that completely. The people who did donate today oh. through Power Chat, don't worry, Nick has not received any of that money. Uh, that's going to be in the future, but we're preemptively ending our relationship we're with them. We're transitioning so over stream to elements, Stream Elements. Yeah, and people have been donating on Stream Elements right now. We appreciate that, guys. I'll, I'll, and by the way, there's also a glitch now not showing anything, all any of the people's info on Power Chat. It's falling apart. It's in shambles. So fuck that. Anyway, Stream yeah, Elements, I mean, links the, down. The service there. has been having a lot of issues. It sucks. Displaying names and shit like this. So it's best to just move on from it. Yes. But there is one guy... Who's, who's very upset today and has decided to fire up a stream about it and accuse us of all sort of stuff that's not accurate. It's and insane. that's Josh. <laughs> now listen, I, I have not had a problem with Josh, really. Uh, I, I've always said to Josh, like, listen, buddy, I really don't have a problem with you. But he's been holding on to this grudge in his heart for two years now about New Project 2 and about how we, I cost him $2,000 a month and I fucked him. And I absolutely did. I bent Josh over the barrel and fucked him into the 2K. 
And you know what happened? Josh kept doing shows with me long after that, but he held this seething resentment in his heart. He's very, very, very upset <laughs> about New Project 2. And I'll just go over it quickly for those of you who aren't aware. Back in the day, Dick Masterson created a Patreon alternative called New Project 2. And what ended up happening was a lot of creators signed up to it, including Josh. Josh didn't have any other you know, payment processor at that time. Nobody was willing to take on the risk of having Josh on their platform, but Dick did. And Josh also looks to Dick as his father. Josh views Dick Masterson as his daddy, his libertarian spiritual leader that guides him through it all, his support of Lolly Khan and Shoda and all the typical libertarian bullshit. And Josh looked up to Dick as his daddy. And what ended up happening is Dick had some very embarrassing things leak out about him, some texts where he was simping, I went out against the Dick Masterson persona. And what happened was everybody that was on Dick's payment processing service all swept this up under the rug. They're like, this isn't funny that Dick is simping. This is bullshit. And they brought Jesse Pod Awful onto the kill stream and 7v1 railroaded him. Dick Masterson, Ralph, everybody fucking railroaded Jesse and tried to bury this shit. Well, I brought it to light that there was some fucking issues with this new project too. That Dick Masterson then has this control over the community and people are now in this conspiracy of silence to protect Dick Masterson. Well, what does Josh do? As people are posting on Kiwi Farms in Dick Masterson's thread, which Josh had buried in multimedia, by the way, they're posting in the thread about this conspiracy Josh locks the thread on Dick Masterson's orders, receiving $2,000 a month from him. Regardless of if there was an order or not, it was suspicious as fuck that this thread was locked. It was suddenly locked, then there was a trash fire thread made in multimedia that Josh then came into that thread, and whenever people were criticizing Dick, Josh would damage control for dozens and dozens and dozens of posts to the point where he was actually defending Dick Masterson's crack shack that's in Compton, folks. It's not in the Beverly Hills. It's not Wait, anywhere. Wait, what? It's, it's in Compton. I keep hearing Dick it's in Masterson's the hills. Dick Masterson's crack shack. No, it's not in the Hollywood <laughs> Hills. It's in South Central. It's like just a little bit north of Compton is where Dick's crack shack is. <laughs> and Josh is looking at this crack shack, like unpaved driveway, unruly grass. <laughs> in the fucking middle of the hood. And he's like, this is a mansion. My daddy Dax's crack shack is a mansion. And he fucking humiliated himself. He embarrassed himself defending Dick Masterson. At the time he was gun guarding as well because he had to on Dick Masterson's orders. He was defending Ralph. And only when the pressure became so great and the whole thing fucking fell apart and new project two died Josh will tell you there was nothing shady going on, but this was shut down. It was put on the match list. Max Herrera was put on the match list, folks, and the whole thing was shut down. Josh will talk about due diligence, this and that. New Project 2 didn't even have a terms of service agreement. There was no terms of service. It was just Dick Masterson waving his cock around. The site was broken as fuck. People, there was not even a paywall. They were able to just get around the paywall with a simple fucking Google search. The whole thing was a complete mess and a scam. <laughs> Josh defended to his last breath. And then when it all fell apart and he lost out on the $2,000 a month, only then did he turn on Dick Masterson and disavow him for the lollycon shit. Only then did he sacrifice Ralph to the corn. And let's remember, because of all that fucking shit, the Internet Famous Board ended up being created, one of three sub-forums now that I'm responsible largely for existing on Josh's website. And I think Josh should thank me for that. At this point, I mean, whatever I seem to cover seems to become the next big thing on his website. You know, you've got Internet Famous now out of New Project 2, the Gunt sub-forum out of My Crusade Against Ralph, now the Catboy Forum. So I don't know, Josh should be thankful to me for helping him out. I mean, sure, I butt fucked him and screwed him out of $2,000 a month and he did fucking nothing at the time. 
but seethe resentfully about it and then finally today come out with his attacks but uh it is what it is josh i've helped you out now i've set up your whole site for you your forums for you and everything buddy i don't know what the fucking issue is but he's still seething about new project two to this fucking day he sees about pizza day oh my this god this is the thing too the, the pizza day shit folks is literally the most retarded shit you'll ever hear in your entire life go well, ahead this is so me and josh had a weight loss competition <laughs> which I was trying to inject some enthusiasm into it, some life into it, by making some lighthearted jabs at his expense, because Josh had said that one of the best ways to diet was to have a pizza day on Friday. <laughs> and that, that was what the method he swore by was pizza day. Pizza day. And I made fun of him for it, and he fucking lost his mind. Like, you're subverting the forum against me. This is raw. How can you subvert this forum against me, PPP? You're turning them against. It's like, listen, Josh, I'm just trying to have some fun and make this weight loss contest watchable for people. Because if there's no sort of drama or stakes to or back and forth between me and you and Ralph, it's just a bunch of fat fucks stepping on a scale and revealing a number. It's not that entertaining. But his autistic mind couldn't grasp this. And viewed this as a, a, a me trying to take over his website and subvert him and fuck him over. It's really not the case, Josh. It's fucking pizza day. But let's have a look here. So this is a clip here of Josh. And he's basically explaining why he's gone in today on us. And, you know, he's, he's trying to, you know, get revenge for his grievance that he had back in the day. Let's have a look. Power uh, Dreadnought for five says, I never heard you more yet mad at the internet when sputtering in rage about pvp you were fast talking so this is his own super chatter <laughs> this is his own super chatter saying i've never seen you more in rage than when you were spurging at ppp today <laughs> i just think it's funny as shit man i just think it's funny as shit like he gets fucking rattled because i've subverted it let's play this let's play yeah. the keys to your emotional ferrari um i mean i've been pretty mad before He's just a hypocrite. He's a hypocrite and he's throwing shit at He effectively threw shit at me. And that's the frustrating thing. I effectively it's threw like... shit at him. <laughs> it, <laughs> listen, the reality is it had nothing really to do with you. It was the fact that Dick Masterson was trying to control people and you allowed him to control you. And the whole thing really started because I was fucking pissed off at Ralph. That's the reality of the whole fucking thing. Josh takes it personally. He takes it very, very personally. He holds on to it to this day. It's so Just pathetic. listen to it. It's so like he got Just people it. on the forum who should know better than to fall for that kind of gay bullshit into a, a tizzy about absolutely nothing to <laughs> hurt the should, site known from within the site. Oh my god, site. it's the it's internet. Less... It's serious business, guys. It's serious. I love his crying. He was trying to hurt the site. Oh no, oh, he's no. the site. He's heaven, heaven forbid. <sighs> Heaven oh. forbids Kiwi Farms goes down. That the oh. world would be such a horrible place if it went down. Oh my God, right? he did a little trolling and it pissed people off, guys. No, he got trolled. This oh, is the thing: no. is he got trolled. He got trolled back the then. Fucking whiny ass he's bitch. Still, Holy. He's still pissed about it's it. It's so like, like pathetic, dude. Sight because PPP made something up and they believed it. That's why I get upset about. That. Oh. He made something up and people Wait believed a minute. it. Oh. People went on the internet and spread lies and misinformation. It can't be. The thing is, it wasn't even misinformation. It was real. It, yeah. It was real. And it was all Josh's fault. The whole thing blew up. If Josh just let people post about it and didn't try locking threads and he banned. Every, yeah, a ton user. of people. I remember he, that. I, I remember it, and he went after the user George Coxanian hard and was, like, trying to dox him in order to exonerate Dax. Like, the, a lot of this lore is lost to the sands of time, and I think I'm actually going to go over maybe some of this later in the week on my own or so. I don't know. Yeah. But the whole new Project 2 arc, a lot of you guys weren't around for this time, but they totally got all They got exposed. And the whole thing is, if Josh had just... I'm not spurred out, not defended Diddler Dax, not locked his thread, it wouldn't have got traction. But Josh fucked himself. 
He says, I screwed him. I th- Josh screwed Josh. That's the reality. He screwed himself. It was his own spurgery that caused him to lose. That's, a, that's the facts. But let's keep, let's keep yep. listening here. I don't know in a second, everyone. Thank you. Uh, remember, Stream Elements, now the main place. Link's down there, everyone. Okay? Thank you so much. Love you all. That. Like, what, what's Kef- Would you want to do it for Rakeback, maybe? Because I can it only do two be. days a week for sure. If you want to do a third day, I have to train well, every single I, day. I may so. bust out an old school phone stream. Beautiful. Because I, may... I have to train. I'm, I'm training five hours it a day. May, I can't. It, it, may, it yeah. may be a phone stream, but let's play yeah. this. All right. What's Kefal's going to do? He's going to cry about me. What's Frederick going to do? He's going to cry about me. What's Ralph going to do? He's going to cry about me. Oh, you're going to pay for a DDoS? You're going to pay for a DDoS? You're going to spam something on the site? Like, no. But convincing, convincing like, people to that there's some sort of like pay for play is ridiculous there like, was really it was it. it was obvious that there was pay for play josh you were receiving thousands of dollars a month through dick masterson and you vehemently defended him more so than you would do for any other person on the website you went to insane extremes you ended up embarrassing yourself for your daddy diddler dax and then you ended up having to disavow anyway and i know you didn't want to disavow because you do agree with dax's takes on lollycon in the past you've masturbated to show to pornography by your own admission so i know i know that you didn't want to disavow your father diddler dax but you had to do it because you were facing too much pressure over the new project two thing and this is what it ultimately boils down to is that josh is upset and jealous that there's somebody out there that has the charisma and the persuasion skills to influence the users of his site to make them believe things that's what he's upset about he's putting ideas into their heads we can't have that this is also why he's upset at jim because jim has more charisma and more persuasion ability than josh so he's jealous of Jim and he sees each and every day about Jim and how Jim doesn't embrace his sight and how Jim doesn't love him, but he doesn't lash out at Jim because he'll be fucking exposed as a seething little bitch when he does. Uh, it's just the simple fucking facts there of the case, folks. And I will say this too about, about Josh and Dick Masterson and this whole thing. I want you to pull up, Andy. It's in the folder, uh, the new, new project too. Uh, so this is why I genuinely think, aside from Josh holding this grudge and seething over the years about how, about Pizza Day and about New Project 2. Yeah. yeah. So this is Dick Masterson, for those of you who can see it on screen, making an announcement that New Project 2 is going to return. He's coming up with a new payment processing alternative. Now, what I find interesting is a week or two on this show... We played a clip of Dick Masterson making overtures to Josh that he misses him, that he loves him. Oh, yeah. And this is, and now let's also point out that this tweet was liked and retweeted by Nick Fuentes' <laughs> Twitter account, The Minion 2000. Oh. So it seems to me that Josh would probably like to be involved with this new version of New Project 2. So he's coming on this attack so that he can now be a part of new project three. And it's the same thing. Fuentes is doing all this shady bullshit with power chat now so that he can then transition everybody uh, over to, to the new project three with Dick Masterson. Muddy the so waters, actually- make it look bad. Oh, there's this new donation service. Move over there. Okay. But what the real conspiracy is here is Josh dick masterson and nick fuentes all colluding together to try and normalize this new new project to alternative so that dick masterson can have control over the internet again and josh can get his money his precious fucking money in and again a large part of this too is jealousy from josh over the fact that we're able to have you know a a large amount of donations come in we're getting starting to surpass him in viewership so this is what's going on folks and not only that but that's just the tip of the iceberg he he cried he was crying i heard a clip where he was crying about me he's like how come how come uh ashton works with andy it's like uh ashton can use obs 
I'm like, I don't know, maybe Ashton likes working with me. Like, you think about that? Like, maybe we're, I'm like, it's good times. Our gum road, we have a fucking blast over there. Like, we have a great fucking time on this show. And he's like, why? Why is Ashton? Because we're co-hosts with each other. Ashton, he's fucking, he's the king of fucking the rant. I'm the king of keeping this all afloat. Remember when I left for one week, what happened? The show almost tanked. It was still good, though. I had some fun watching your shows. Don't worry, Ashton. I'm not trying to shit on you. But yeah, he was seething and crying. It was just like, I'm like, is he going to cry for all, like, all these clips? What the fuck? Anyway. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, so folks, I, that's, I that's actually the situation believe, with John. I actually believe your conspiracy because this is all too quick. All right now, this all happens. All right, Josh. And Josh, seriously, pizza day? Like, dude, if I eat pizza to gain weight for the fight, he's like, I remember that whole debate that you had with him. He's like, no, if you eat pizza on Fridays, it's fine. No, it's not, Josh. In fact, Ashton, I think that you should challenge Josh right now to another weight loss I competition. I absolutely, I absolutely would do a weight loss competition with Josh again in a second. I absolutely would, you know, but Josh is afraid. He's afraid to do a weight loss competition with me. That's the problem. He dropped out of the last weight loss competition. Then it all went to shit in the end, you know, with me and Surfer breaking up. But the fact is, folks, Josh will never, ever accept another weight loss competition oh, no, with there's me. no way. Because he knows how it will go. And he you'll knows win. I'll just dominate him. Bro, and by the way, Ashton lives near me now. I would be there to slap the fucking burgers out of his hand. I would, you know what I mean? I'd force him to eat lentils. Like, he'd be eating lentils. Lentils. And shit. Like, oh, dude, they're awful. I would make you do that. So, uh, Josh... You, you cry, baby. You fuck about, about something from two years ago. Uh, accept the challenge from PPP if you think you're so fucking hard. Uh, and by the way, Medicare Masochist over on Stream Elements for two hundred dollars. And I'll read more dollars in a second here. But he says, I'm late. What happened? I'm late and gay. What happened to Power Chat? We were saying that... Uh, Nick is now talking to Lulz about possibly taking a percentage in the future. Not yet. We read your 50. But uh, we're going to preemptively end, end our relationship with Power Chat since now Nick is, is apparently going to be involved. But what timing, Ashton? We have some bros, some homies, creating our own version of Power Chat that you log in using the piggyback off Google Google the same way. And am I allowed to announce the other thing? Like even if No, like... no. Uh, don't don't say anything yeah. just yet. But the, there are there are large developments coming in massive, the pipeline. Massive, massive developments. developments. And let's just uh, say coming in, in the next few we'll weeks. We'll be folks. safe for a long, long time. But Medicare Maskus, thank you. If you want to support the sh uh, show, links are down there for the stream elements. If we hit the goal, we'll do Rake Back next week. Longer show tonight. We have a lot of stuff. And Gum Road, Ashton, he was busy the last few days. I tried contacting you, but you were busy. We're going to do g the g all Gum Road stuff or Cum Road stuff tomorrow. All right, Ashton? If you don't, respond, right. if you don't respond to me, I'm breaking your fucking door down, all right? Uh, let's read some more donos here. Uh, so I hope that clears everything up, everyone. Uh, uh, Josh... You've been challenged. There you go. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.